Hello everyone, this is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'm going to do a quick what's in my bag video with my Damier Aben Speedy 30 because I have not done one in a while and I realized earlier that I promised you some more information on this bag when I first got it. Um, like I said, it's Damier Aben Speedy 30. It is by Louis Vuitton and I will tell you a little bit more about the features and then show you what it can hold by taking everything out and showing you what I carry. So this is the 30 and it is a great size bag. To me, I'm 5'3", the 35 was way too big. And me, I tend to stuff my bags full so I would really be having a weight problem there if I carried a full 35 bag. This one is a nice size weight I can carry a ton of stuff in here. Um, I do carry even more than this in my Neverfull, which is my kind of everyday bag. But this one is nice. I use it on special occasions or on days when I don't, um, when I can dress up a little bit. And I just love it. It's a great bag, very classic, iconic, and I love the print. It's my first Aben print, and um, I'm looking probably to get more in the future. So I'll just quickly show you what it has inside. I have it full to the top there. And um, just starting with the outside of the bag, I have I carry my key pouch. Um, I just stick the keys inside and let the um, clay part dangle over the edge. That way it makes it very easy for me to find my keys. And I love the contrast of the monogram print with the Aben print. So that is on the outside, and I just have my car keys there. The other thing that's on the outside of the bag is the Topage Charm. It is by Louis Vuitton as well, and it's beautiful. I love this bag charm, and I um, was so happy when I got it. I got it on a meet and greet with other Louis Vuitton enthusiasts, and um, it really reminds me of that occasion. And I just love the way it jingles and adds a little extra pizzazz to the outside of the bag. So inside the bag, it's going to be like a mini Louis Vuitton collection video here because I realized that um, my small leather goods or all my accessories are pretty much Louis Vuitton. I have a few other random things in here that I'll show you. But um, if I show you something and you would like to see a further review on it, please let me know. I'm not going to show things in detail or what's actually inside the pouches because I don't want this video to be too long. But again, if you want to see how much something can hold, like, like this right here, my cosmetic pouch. This is the small cosmetic pouch, and you've seen it before in my other videos, but it is what I carry my, my lip products, my lotions, my um, any kind of makeup that I'm carrying and I don't carry around too much because I don't tend to fuss around with my face when I'm out but I carry all of that in this in this pouch right here and it fits nicely I put it on its side and it fits nicely in the bag I also carry my Louis Vuitton sunglasses these are the cat Flori sunglasses and they look like this I'll show you that's what they look like, and I carry those in the case right in the bag on the top so it's really easy to get at. Um, I also have my Sarah wallet in the monogram print. All my accessories are in the monogram print. I do that on purpose so that I can have um, whatever the outside of the bag is, All I want all my inside pieces to match. So I've been going with the monogram. And this is my Sarah wallet. It is a great wallet. I've shown you an unboxing for this one, but if you want a further review, I can. There's a ton of them on YouTube. But it looks like this inside. It's great. It has the four card holders there, the large pockets in the middle, the zippered coin pouch right in between. And this is where I keep all my reward cards. Um, there's some additional cards back here that I keep. I don't even know what those are. Oh, a library card and a AAA card in the back there. And the very last flap is where I keep cash. And I think I have, ooh, a whopping $3. So that's what the Sarah wallet looks like. And I also have my small agenda. 
and um, I really need to do an agenda video because a really sweet follower named um, Andrew Vuitton, I believe his name is, he tagged me in a video a long time ago, and I am so sorry I haven't gotten to it yet, but he wants to know what's inside my agenda, and I will combine that with a review if you want one and tell you what's in here, but I've been living and loving this thing very much. I'm so busy these days, and it really keeps everything together. So there's my small agenda. I also have my business card holder, which is the Louis Vuitton business card holder. And I have three different types of business cards that I can keep stuffed in there, and it holds quite a bit. There's a front flap here that holds cards, and then the main compartment in the middle. So essential for me these days to carry that. And also in here is my mini um, pochette and monogram as well. I keep it clipped to the D-ring that's inside of the bag. And I'll take that apart here so that I can take it out to show you. But it has the nice beautiful gold chain that um, clips to either to the D-ring inside the bag or it clips to the other side of the pochette to make it a little purse or a pouch for you to carry. In here I keep all my essentials like um, my pill box, hand sanitizer. Um, since I've got these darn braces now I carry those wisps or the disposable toothbrushes and toothpicks and cough drops and mints and things like that is what I carry in this. So I don't mix up my makeup, heaven forbid, something spills in either one. It doesn't get everything else uh, messed up. So my mini pochette. The nice thing about this, I always try to carry this in a bigger bag, is if I'm traveling or if I'm out and I need to downsize in a hurry, I have taken all this stuff out of here, dumped it in my bag, and then used this as a little clutch. Because it does fit an iPhone and like a little, a little wallet like the um, card holder can fit in there to hold like a card or two and some cash. So this is a great, great investment, I thought. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? I have a little notebook that I got from Target, um, just in case. Take notes. I have my pen holder. I explained to you in my last, vi my last What's in My Bag video, the one oh, over my Neverfull, um, that I, I don't baby my bags very much, but the one thing I just don't ever want to have is a pen mark. So I've got this heavy duty um, cross leather pen holder that I carry a couple cross pens in just in case I um, need to write something. There's usually always pens available, but if I do, they're always really protected in here so that I don't get pen marks in my bag. Um, let's see here. The other thing I have in my my bag, which you might think is really goofy, you might have seen it a few times before because it's a fan. I always carry a fan with me because where I work, uh, I believe my office, it must be right over a boiler or something because in the winter time it gets so hot and I have to turn the air conditioner on in my office on full blast just to stay um just to tolerate it because it gets so hot in there I could feel my makeup melting everything so I carry the fan that I got from Spain just to kind of like refresh myself a little bit so I always pretty much have a fan and plus it's really good to whap my kids on the head if they're bothering me um, let's see what else um, the little pouch that is in the bag I'll show you in a few seconds what the interior looks like but there's a little pouch on the side of a speedy and I seem to have a couple of, you know, drink mixes for your bottle of water, like adding them to bottles of water. I was on a really big water drinking kick there for a while. I need to get back on it. But to make your water not taste like water, I guess, and flavor it up. And then I have my house keys. And I explained before in my last video that I, for some reason, always keep my house keys separate from my car keys. Don't know why, I just do, but there they are. Um, let's see. Oh, I have a Starbucks card, and normally it would be in my wallet, but I have it set out because I need to call them um, because I switched phones. I got the new iPhone recently, and I went um, to load up my, my Starbucks app, and it couldn't 
remember my password for anything. I know it. I know I didn't forget it, but it was not taking my app for anything. So I've got to call them, and their number is on here to get. Um, I have 35 bucks on my card, and also 11 stars. So I'm one star away from a free drink, and I want them to get that fixed because I want my stuff. So I have the card in here to remind me. And I also, in the little pocket, have a flash drive in case I need to um, bring work home. And, um, oh, just the keys that came with the bag. And that takes care of the lock that's, um, on the, that comes with all the speedies. So I've got all that. Now there's one more thing in the bag that I want to show you. Um, you can kind of see I've got a little system in there. Um, it's the Pimp My Speedy bag insert or bag organizer that I have inside there. And I bought it, um, like I said, from PimpMySpeedy.com. And I got it in the red for the Damier Eben interior. And it just looks like this. It, it fits in there perfectly. It's sized perfectly for the 30. But when you take it out, it looks like this. It's just a nice little box. But the best part is all the little compartments that it has. Um, those of you who have dealt with a Speedy before know that it can be a complete big black hole. And all your stuff can just fall in there. And it takes a while to get like the little things out. Um, but this is really nice because it's got so many compartments. Oh, there's something else. Oh, a business card for Pimp My Speedy. So that was in there. But it's got so many compartments. Um, here's two mesh pockets on the side here. And then um, two big compartments right there. One very big compartment right here. And over on this side is a nice place to put um, either cards or a cell phone fits in there, an uh, iPhone 5 fits in there, and then also um, pens. So if you weren't as paranoid as I am about pen marks, you can put your pens in there. And there's even compartments on the side here. So it's just like a ton, a ton of ways to organize your bag. Now, I love it, but I find that you can't fit as much in the Speedy when you have this because these compartments are going to force you to organize your pieces some way. Like my cosmetic pouch, I can't lie it flat like this because I need that space for something else. So I have it sticking on its end in that little pouch right there and that's how it sits in my bag. So this is a great, I thought it was a great investment for those of you out there who prefer your bag to look structured and not to sag. And what I mean by that is like when you have a speedy full of things, you can get the sag down here. Um, this will prevent that by keeping the bottom um, just kind of flat for you. Um, it works like a base shaper and also an organizer in one. Um, it's very durable canvas material, and it um, can be wiped clean with a damp rag if you get something on it. Um, it it's great. It's, it's got a lot of good features. What I will do on the bottom is put the link to Pimp My Speedy and also the price that the organizer was. There are different prices for the different sizes. I haven't gotten one yet for my... Uh, Zor bag in Speedy, but I'm thinking I will just because I prefer the structured look a little bit more than the saggy look. Either way, it doesn't really bother me, but I think that when I tend to carry the bag, I'm dressed up or um, in something that is not as casual as the saggy look would make it... Um, it looks a little bit more ca casual, I think, when it's the saggy, saggy bottom. And I tend to wear this more to work or when I'm dressed up. So I do like having this in there. I just can't carry as much, but on the days that I need to carry a ton, I carry my Neverfull. So that was what was in my bag, what it holds. I'll show you a shot of the inside. Looks like this. 
It's got the matching red interior as the, it's the same red as this, so that is perfect. You can hardly tell that the bag organizer is in there when it's empty. So it looks like this. It's really, like I said, a big black hole that takes all your stuff in there. You can fit a ton in there. And um, it has a patch pocket on the side. That is quite small, but it can hold some really dainty things or the keys, things like that you don't want to um, misplace or that you don't need access to very often. And it's got the leather trim around there. Um, underneath the pocket on the side right here is where your date code is going to be. So you always lift up your, po your pocket in the speedy and find the date code. It has the beautiful brass, uh, golden brass hardware. The leather on here is in perfect shape. Um, it's just a great bag. Uh, the lock, the end there. This bag was made in the USA and I will show you right there is where you can see that. Um, the D-ring is on the other uh, the side opposite of the pocket, and, and I love it. I always use that with my mini pochette because if I have an essential, uh, need an essential like a uh, aspirin or something like that, I can quick grab it. Um, not much else that I can say about the bag. It's wonderful. I always carry it on my arm or on the crook of my elbow, and, and that's how I do it. Um, not really in a position right now to do a modeling shot, but you've seen a lot of these on, on YouTube. It fits my body perfectly. Um, I have pictures of me modeling it on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen them. Um, if not, my Instagram handle is Pink to Paris. And that's about it for the bag. Uh, one more thing before I go. I just want to let you know that I'm starting to uh, promote an online event that I'm going to be holding on December 12th. It's kind of going to be like a virtual meet and greet with me. Um, I live in Milwaukee and I don't think there's many of you out there that are from this area that could come physically to see me. But I have uh, heard interest in a meet and greet so I thought it would be a great idea to do it online. There will be more information coming but it will be a live broadcast to kind of meet with you and also to announce the launch or the pre-launch of my new company which is Pink to Paris Image Consulting and I am I've been working very hard to get that going it'll be a wonderful time to just sit back kick, kick back and relax with you guys and and chat over the internet um, you'll be able to see me and ask me questions or if you want to ask me questions ahead of time I can answer those on the broadcast but that's what's going on in my world. I hope you are doing wonderfully and everything is going well. And have a great week and I will see you again next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.